my name is Mike and today we're going to set up the Unify phone from Ubiquity and configure it to attach to the OnSIP hosted PBX. The Unify phone from Ubiquity. Nice looking box. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Okay. It's an Android based phone from Ubiquity, the unified VoIP phone. And one nice, nice big unit here. So it comes with, looks like it's just the phone. And some instructions no cables. No, no cables anywhere. So you're going to make sure that you get your own Ethernet cable. Uh, I think it's PoE. There you go. So there's two jacks in the back. One for the PoE, and it looks like it has a built-in switch, so you can daisy chain another phone, another device to this. So if you have a computer uh, currently plugged in on PoE, you could come from the wall to the main PoE jack here, and then out of the secondary jack into the computer. So let's see what it looks like when you start it up. Okay, we've now moved the phone down to the lab where we have a PoE switch and turn it around, plug it in into the main, main PoE here. go give it a second so it boots up in Android so you can see it's an Android device so be sure when you plug it in give it that uh, give it that second or two to, to start up before you uh, start unplugging things The Unify brand. So far, just just feeling the handset. It's got a nice it's got a nice weight to it. Well balanced. Feels pretty good. It looks uh, quality device here. All right, so we're gonna start with English. Great. You select a Wi-Fi network. Uh, we're going to keep the Wi-Fi off for now. We, uh, I would recommend if you're going to run VoIP, run it over your LAN. So we're going to skip the Wi-Fi connection for now. Uh, we're not going to run it over. So it thinks that we're setting up a, a cell phone, basically. Um, we're, so right now it's asking if we have Google. And uh, do you have a Google account? If you use Gmail or Google Apps, answer yes. Uh, probably can't hurt. I'm going to go ahead and answer that. Great. I'm going to pause the video while I put in my email and password. Okay. I've entered my Google email and password, and it's signing in. Backup and restore location. Great. Communications. Great. Okay. So now we'll look now it's installing some of the custom software from Unify. And now we will connect this device to the Unify controller and configure it and make a call. Okay, so now that the phone is up and powered up, we're gonna start the Unify controller on a, a computer on the same network. Come up to the dashboard, and we're gonna go down to devices, and you'll see the different devices there. When it very first comes up, you have to say adopt uh, to get that uh, device adopted onto the network. Then, very importantly, uh, you'll see that the, the phone is running version 4.5. Uh, 
uh, we need that upgraded to the latest version, so we're going to go over and hit upgrade. Now it's going to take a second and then it will restart. You can see over on the phone, it's rebooting and upgrading. And we're back. You can see now that the phone is upgraded. It's on version 4.6.2, which is the one that we need for Onset to have the outbound proxy. And at this point, you're pretty much done with the Unify controller. You can focus all of your efforts on the phone itself. So on the phone, you go to the go to the phone and go to settings and then go to SIP service and SIP accounts and add an account. Great, we'll add our settings here. Come back in just one second. Okay, so now in the SIP settings, you're going to put in the server, which is your domain. And uh, we're not IP based, we're username and password based. So your, your username, your password, uh, be careful there. It's, it's uh, long and case sensitive and it's a tiny keyboard, so be careful with that. Your authentication name, uh, which is what we call your auth username. Uh, the display name and display extension can be whatever you want. Voicemail box number is blank. And the important field is this outbound proxy. Make sure outbound proxy is set to sip.onsip.com. And then OK. And you should get that you are now uh, successfully registered and able to receive calls. Now, one thing you should do is go back and choose uh, Codex and uncheck some of the ones that we're not going to need here, like Speaks, ILBC, GSM. So keep G722, which is the high def and keep a uh, ULAW and ALAW, uh, G711 PCMA and G711 PCMU. Good, okay. okay. And there we go, here is the, the main phone interface. And then with the keypad, one, eight hundred eight. Thank you for calling OnSIP. For more information go. about OnSIP. So that is how to set up a Ubiquiti phone with OnSIP.